Today, I'm with Lucas Stewart of JL Marine, otherwise known as Power Pole. And we're gonna be showing you some pretty incredible stuff with an integration that's happening between both Power Pole and Ray Marine, my electronics company. Tell us more about this, Lucas. That's right, so total boat control for Power Pole is a big deal, and today we have the integration with our Power Pole shallow water anchors, as well as the Move brushless trolling motor. This is something I've been looking forward to an awful long time. Something that I have that will give me visibility no matter where I'm on the boat, and total control wherever I am on the boat. So let us reveal to you what I think is going to be a huge game changer for all you skiff owners. Let's go. Let's do it. So my biggest question to you, Lucas, is how do you get the Power Pole Sea Monster system to interact or talk to Raymarine where that you can use them together? Oh, I got you. Well, we make the Sea uh, Monster Gateway. All you have to do is pair this with the move okay. and then place it on the NEMA 2000 network that the Raymarine is on. Just screw and, it right in? Yeah, it sets on one of the drop tees on your NEMA network and it will automatically take care of it from there. What advantages do you see this giving me as a skiff owner? It, I would say it simplifies your dash. So on the sidebar of any axiom, you just slide it over and you've got two options. Mm -hmm. You have the trolling option and your anchor option. So obviously with anchors, it's pretty simple. You're yeah. going to be able to stow and deploy your shallow water anchor right from there. That alleviates some space on the dash. Where maybe you don't need to mount the power pull switch. That's right. And then with the uh, move, this is going to allow you to, I would say, be at a command center where maybe you've dropped your trolling motor and you're still setting back here and you're taking care of other business mm -hmm. and you then can get your yourself to the spot but be ready for it. One of the things or challenges I would say that I've had in the past is if I have an angler standing in front of my trolling motor uh, where I cannot see the direction of the head and I have to play with my remote. It's the age old problem. You always have the largest person go stand right in front of that trolling motor. <laughs> yes. But as you said, you can see which direction that trolling motor is pointing to have better control and know where it's at at all times. That in itself is gold. I have the use of a 24 Astero, but let's just say I've got a friend who's got a 31 Yellowfin who's thinking about putting a move on here and he has a Raymarine. Mm -hmm. What advantages is my buddy Dave gonna have? So being able to take your information that's on your, your Raymarine, like your, you know, maybe a really hot waypoint, okay. and be able to precisely can stay right on that. Right on it. And then you have some of those jog anchor functionality. So if you need to move around on that spot, great for structure fishing, bottom oh, fishing. I use it for bridge <clears throat> fishing, even in my skiff. I can see how I'm gonna use this already. I mean, it, this is going to be a really good addition to my skiff because this really keeps me from ever going forward in the boat. I'm not, I'm not going to have to or ask questions to anyone up forward. I, I'm going to be able to do everything right from my Raymarine and I'm going to be able to see everything I need to see right there on this Axiom Pro 9 inch from there. Not only just the cartography, but the fact that I can tell with that directional arrow which way my trolling motor head is pointed, what my speed is, what if I want to set my vector or my anchor. That's right. Yeah, but that that is the advanced piece of having your chart information, your waypoint management, and all of that tied into the move trolling motor. Being able to say, I want to go to that point and then have the trolling motor take you to it and anchor you there. Or if you need a more precise route to an area, you can really easily create a route on here it will go to each of the points and anchor you on the final spot. Yeah, this flat in particular is just inches deep everywhere and there's a serpentine path to get up on top of the crown of this flat. So you're telling me I can put waypoints along that path and then just hit the trolling motor and it will take me down that path while I get fly rods out or tie leaders up That's or just right. get situated. Indeed. Wow, that is amazing. Advantage CA. Thank you, Ray Marine. Thank you, Power Pole. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Let's do some of this. <laughs> 